Channel 2 News continues with meteorologist Jeff Martinez's Pinpoint 2 forecast, broadcast certified by the American Meteorological Society. And a good Thursday morning to you. Start things out with a beautiful uh, sunrise. Check this out from Somerset. Uh, Kelly Lazarchef taking this shot from yesterday morning. Had a little bit of snow around the Somerset area. Just a beautiful uh, shot. Thank you, Kelly, for that. Send me some pictures, KTV and uh, Jeff Martinez on Facebook, and we'll get you on. Taking a look at those snowfall amounts, fairly impressive for this time of year. At least uh, get a good base going here. More than uh, about two feet of snow across many areas. Squaw Valley, close to two feet. North Star, about that. Heavenly, about 11 inches. And we saw close to two feet at Mammoth Lake. So good news. We need that moisture. need that Sierra snowpack for sure. Roads looking uh, pretty good out there. Still kind of wet. We do have some light rain around the area, so slow it down out there, but uh, no accidents to report as you do head out uh, the door. And as far as chain controls go, I-80 is open with no controls. We have uh, still a short uh, section on the Mount Rose Highway and then also down south, Highway 88 and 89. Otherwise, a fairly mild morning. We're at 45 degrees as you head out the door. 44 degrees to be exact. Not too bad. The winds are calm. And we have 40s from Lovelock up through Fallon and uh, South Lake Tahoe, 41 degrees. Not uh, foggy this morning in Carson and uh, Lovelock and Fallon. Fog has uh, finally uh, gone away. But Susanville, you are reporting some uh, foggy conditions. So those inversions have mixed out somewhat. And we are going to see uh, improving conditions by this afternoon. Still some stormy weather out there this morning. Low pressure system to our north will continue to move out of here. But we'll still hang on to a few showers, mainly up in the mountains uh, throughout the day today. Had some light precipitation here in the Reno area. A few light showers passing through right now. And also uh, further up to the north, up around Quincy. And as you head up to the Susanville area. Future satellite and radar. Again, just a few light showers out there today. Most of it will stay up in the mountains as the system moves on out. Another one's on the way for tomorrow, but it'll pretty much stay off to our north. We'll just see a few clouds on Friday, a few scatter showers pretty much north of us, but that's about it. Not a big storm uh, tomorrow, and that's looking good for the weekend. 42 at 8 o'clock, 50 at noon, a few light showers through the morning hours, 56 for your high today. We'll do 60 in Hawthorne, that's looking pretty good. 54 in Tonopah, cooler in Ely with 48 degrees for you. Mid 50s from Lovelock down through Fallon, uh, upper 50s in fact, a 54 in Battle Mountain, so looking pretty good out toward a Reno 56 today, upper 40s around the, the lake, including Truckee. And look out for some light rain and snow showers, mainly above 7,000 feet. It's a very warm storm system. It almost feels tropical out there all day yesterday with the rain. And uh, we'll see that uh, the system, system move out of here by tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies for the weekend, mid 50s. Yesterday was so, so weird. A friend of mine, she uh, drove through Carson City. She was going to Tahoe. She had snow in Carson City. Yeah. Then in Tahoe, she had rain. Rain, yeah. I know. So, the snow levels, that inversion, it's colder in the valley and warmer up top. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense to me, but that's what it was like. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Jeff.